12 News was first on the scene when work to remove that monument began early this morning. Let's go to Kirsten Gutierrez. She joins us live from Liberty Street. Kirsten, what is left of that monument at this hour? Kenny, actually just moments ago, crews completely removed the statue from downtown Winston, and many people are excited about that, including the group Get Hate Out of Winston-Salem. They plan to celebrate that sometime this evening, but others say that it, uh, it's, they're upset and that it's a piece of history and should have never been touched. Concrete barriers and fences lined the streets of downtown Winston-Salem Tuesday as crews began to remove this 1905 Confederate monument piece by piece. The unannounced move comes after a brewing legal battle between the city and the statue's owner, the United Daughters of the Confederacy, over who had the authority to take it down and move it elsewhere. The city stated the monument is a public nuisance and ordered it to be removed, a move some are excited about. It's, it's, it's um, a taken back feeling because I remember coming down shopping uh, with my mother as a little girl and we would walk across the street. It was, uh, you know, a heads up. We just didn't even look that way because of what it represents. So this is an awesome day for us, yeah. They were put up during a time when people of color had no say in this, had no um, ability to um, react to these in, in any way. So we're glad they're coming down. We think that they, um, they represent a false history. While others aren't so happy. It's total BS. Um, that monument's been there 114 years. It's only been vandalized twice, and that was last year, and I think that was set up to make it get moved. They're saying it's racist, it's not racist. It was put up for Confederate dead that never made it home. And some just unbothered. It's not that I'm glad, but I'm okay with it. If it had stayed there another 50 years, it wasn't gonna change my feelings by myself. Winston-Salem Mayor Alan Joins says the monument will be placed in storage for a few months before it's moved to Salem Cemetery. That cemetery is pitch black at night. These people want this thing moved. That monument goes to the cemetery. It's not going to stand long. I reached out to the United Daughters of the Confederacy for a response to the removal today, and I haven't yet to hear back. Now, Winston-Salem Mayor Alan Joyne says they have another hearing with the Daughters on March 25th. Now, as for these gates and barricades, they're expected to be removed by 7 here in downtown Winston-Salem. Reporting live, Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News.